I love sharing conversations because it creates brand new conversations. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E dot net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Jemima Ruper. I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. This is the movie. This is the movie everybody's going to be talking about. In radio, we call it water cooler conversation, but I think today it's grocery store conversation because people will stop shopping and talk about what they're seeing on TV, and Flowers (laughs) in the Attic is going to be that movie. I love that. I hope this is true. Well, you're working with Lionsgate. I mean, Lionsgate has become that network or that that superpower in creating movies and, and television shows. You mean Lifetime? It's but I mean Lifetime is 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 that's where where it's showing up. But but for the people to bring this all together, I mean, I just love the entire team that brought it all in. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. What was it like to do this? Because, I mean, you're talking about V.C. Andrews. I mean, this this is a storyline that people have read, and now you get to breathe life into the characters. Yes. I. It, it, what's kind of uh, what I think is a good thing is that I, I sort of had no idea when I took on the job uh, quite the sort of magnitude to which people love these novels. And I think had I known that, uh, before I would have been completely overwhelmed and daunted by the prospect. Um, and uh, since then, it's, it's, been, it's become one of the things that um, my friends back home are so excited about. I've never, you know, in 27 years of a career, had friends that have been at all interested in anything I'm doing, and now they are. And, um, and it's so uh, brilliant and fascinating um, that, I mean, having now read Flowers in the Attic, I can see why. I mean, they are such... It is page turners. Um, mm-hmm. It hooks you in from the beginning. V.C. Andrews' writing is, is, is extraordinary. And it's a very interesting genre. We don't really have uh, a similar genre back in the U.K. Um, it feels very unique. I remember it sort of being dubbed to me as American Gothic horror. Mm-hmm. But it's also sort of more than that. There's the family saga element. And um, uh, it it's, I mean, incredible to it's just so fun to be become part of that journey and also this this character that is so well known but so known in in very sort of simplistic terms um you know as this awful woman um and we are telling um such a sort of detailed uh and interesting story um uh shining a light on on this what actually makes up a human being and and uh what causes her to become this person in the novel see we grow um, we grow with the character and the, and i think that's what's really good is going to create the conversation because in reality don't we all know somebody that's a little bit off yes this is the thing i'm so glad you said that um i haven't had a chance to talk about that because uh when i was reading it i, I there, there are a few people that have been in my life where um, I suddenly go, this, this is, I, I know, I sort of know this person. And obviously this is a much more extreme version of that. But um, it, it's so sort of interesting because, it, you know, monsters aren't born. Um, human beings aren't that black and white. There is so much gray and there's so much more nuance um, to people and their behavior. Um, and I think that's what um, is tackled so brilliantly in, in the script for this. Um, with this character and I I hope that the audience kind of see why Olivia makes some of the choices that she makes and um, it goes a little way to um, explain how she sort of ends up the way she ends up. I would love to see it maybe in daily writing or something of how you evolve into Olivia because I, I'm, I've always been fascinated with how you can be having a conversation and all of a sudden you become the character and it's like I love <laughs> that moment. <laughs> Um, you're probably giving me giving me way too much credit. Um, <laughs> I literally like I learn my lines and I and I show up <laughs> and I hope that something happens. Um, uh, it is it's a it's an interesting one. The 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 accent um, the accent helps. Um, I, I to be honest, I really connected um, immediately with the script when I read it. Um, it didn't feel I didn't have to go away and think about it too much. I feel like it was it was all there and it was so well drawn. I think um, Max Irons, who plays Malcolm, Malcolm's much more of an enigma as a character. In the in the novel Flowers in the Attic, you you hardly see him. He's just you just hear about him. And um, uh, in in our show, he um, 
he's on the surface maybe more one dimensional seeming mm -hmm. um, but what Max did which was so clever and the casting of him was so clever is that he's an incredibly sort of sensitive charming uh, human being and um, he really sort of struggled to play uh, you know what is quite a, a monstrous person himself and um and that brought something you know extra element to it and so i feel like you know as an actor he was doing a much better job than me i was just <laughs> doing what was there in front of me the, the, um the foxworth family i mean i mean on the outside everybody judges that book by its cover but when you have someone like malcolm the, he's no ordinary man no he is no ordinary man um well, this is also the thing that you go, which, you know, Olivia, the silly sausage, um, she, you know, she starts off as this um, very uh, modern woman, this uh, pretty strong together person. And yet uh, there's obviously something in her that she didn't know where she allows herself to be to be swept away by this, mm -hmm. this guy mm -hmm. who is on the surface um, charming and, and seems really... Uh, into her seems to get her I think she feels like he sees her <laughs> and um, and he certainly sees something that he needs from her but it doesn't turn out to be quite the romance that it promises to be at the beginning <laughs> yeah because it's a fairy tale that becomes a nightmare and that right there that that's the hook and then but you, and you can't take yeah. your eyes off from it because you're going what's next yeah I'm glad you think that I'm glad you think that <laughs> Wow. Well, congratulations with Flowers in the Attic, the origin on Lifetime. I, I just, I just, it's going to become the talk of, for the rest of the summer, and, 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 and you're a part of that. Oh, thank you, Arrow. <laughs> Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, thank you so much. Will you be brilliant today, okay? Yeah, you too.